la situation non 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 The one spoken about Isaiah 53. Isaiah said that Jesus is going to come. Show me. And Isaiah 53 is for Tracy. What name does Isaiah use for Jesus? <laughs> no, uh, do you expect me that Isaiah would should say the name of Jesus? No, there's no name. There's no name. No name. Should, uh, do you accept or do you accept the, exactly so Mohammed or Jesus? No, 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 no. no. You accept no, no, no. Look, what did you say? You said I should believe the Bible is the word of God. Okay, now you're because afraid, of what you're Isaiah 53 says. What the lady's gonna let, I'm afraid. Let the lady, so, so I don't want to read it. Let the lady, let no, 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 no. the lady. I'm not gonna read it. If you know, I don't understand what you're saying. Both of you. Let him read it. I want you to know. Do you want to know if Jesus is what? Do you want to know? Can you explain to me what you want? I want to know what he meant by us. I want to know. What Isaiah 53 says that will convince me or make me believe that the Bible is the word of God. Yes. No, no. Because that was his, this is his evidence. You might say that, no, but you said Jesus. again there's not Jesus. No, no, but you're saying this is the evidence the Bible is the word of God. It's about Jesus because I follow Jesus. Yes, that's why, I don't want that's, to read you know, it. The then How then do you follow Jesus? In what way? Let's not go with that, yeah? You just, you know, like Jesus. Jesus. You keep 600 claims. years, 600 years. No, 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 no. You, you keep asking questions, yes. Yeah. You know, As you should. I, I, well, I proved it, proved it to you, you know. Can well, you, you made please? a claim, didn't substantiate it, so I questioned your claim, and you didn't substantiate it, but made another claim. I didn't substantiate that, so I questioned that claim, and you made a new claim. Okay, let's read as I have 53. But now. Let me read it. 53. 53. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please allow the please. <laughs> For the benefit of the camera. A man here interrupted a conversation when I was asking the young lady here why she believes the Bible is the word of God. He cited Isaiah 53 as his evidence for me to believe, or a good reason to believe, that the Bible is the word of God. Well, that's not, no, this was his claim. It's no, on camera. No, I know. But no, that's I his claim. Yeah. Not your claim. His claim. I know. But what I'm saying is that's not going to be the word of God. Well, no, that's his claim. That's why I don't worry okay. about it. And so what he says is this verse, or these verses, are about Jesus. Yes, read it. There's no name mentioned, but we're just going to look at the descriptions. Exactly. Alhamdulillah. So what I'm going to do for consistency, I'm going to read a verse from Isaiah as well, after this. And we'll see if that's Jesus as well, or not. And if it's not Jesus, let's ask who that is. Okay. All right. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm going to read this from Isaiah, really? then I'm going to read four, uh, from Isaiah. But you uh, must remember, that's not going to prove you. Well, it's the word of God. That would prove you that Jesus well, let's see. is coming. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, is there a particular verse, or shall I read the whole? The entire, yeah, the entire chapter. The entire chapter. Oh, the whole chapter? Yeah, oh. it's a three. Oh, oh, it's not that Sin bearing Messiah is the title. This is a new verse. Jesus. This is a new King. This is the New King James version of the Bible. Now we have to explain something before we begin. Oh right. This is different to the RSV and the NIV. This contains extra verses, which are really. But anyway, that aside. You know what? The RSV, I wouldn't believe. Okay, I'll, I'll have another version here. This is the main one. Do you want to read from this version? Who had these? They're all the same. So what's the matter? Okay. Who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. So as it stands right now, whoever this person is, is not very good looking. Okay, yeah. Alright. He is despised and rejected by men. No, just read it, please don't say nothing. Alright. 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 He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. 
Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace upon, uh, was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. All we have sheep have gone astray, we have turned away from his own way, and the Lord has laid us in the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Are you sure? I am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can quote from the Gospels if you like, and all the words Jesus spoke. But anyway, um, he was a, led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearer is silent. So we open not his mouth. Okay. So I understand your point. I understand your principle. You're, yeah. You're trying to now say this is Jesus. Yeah? Yeah. Who do the Jews say this is? Well, well, this is their book, isn't it? This is what, I, I, what I believe, you know. No, no, what, no, no. It's why I follow Jesus. It's not why Jews follow or didn't follow, yeah? So I don't care. No, no, what no. But Jews you've interpreted said. this to be Jesus, isn't it? Yes. Right. So you, as a Christian, who is a Christian. To me. To me. Okay. As a Christian, yeah. Jesus perfectly. No, no, no. As a, yeah, no. Yes. Through your Christian lens, yeah. through your confirmation bias, this supports your idea that this is Jesus, yes? Yeah. I'm asking, how do the Jews, who this is for, I don't care. Understand it. Okay. I don't follow the Jews. So you're I follow, saying I follow Jesus, yes. So and this this Isaiah no, no, no. chase Jesus no, no, no. Alexander years. This is your interpretation. No. This is your Christian no. interpretation. No. Well, you didn't read the rest, yeah? Read the rest. I, I think we get the gist. No, okay. okay. So now I'm gonna read the verse and you tell me who this is. <laughs> From Isaiah. Yeah, is that alright? Oh. 42, yes? Yeah. Read 42. <laughs> Did I say it was Muhammad? Yeah, okay, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, read 42. Did I say it was Muhammad? And I prove to you that it's not Muhammad. I love, I love you too. Read 42. Muhammad. Isaiah 40, 21. But now he speaks about Medina. The Medina is going to praise the Lord. That's why he's saying. All I'm asking you is yeah, very simple. He's not saying anywhere that actually Did Muhammad, I make a claim? someone is going to come. Did I make a claim? That's why you Did planning. I make a claim? That's why you're planning to Did I make a claim? Okay, read it. Right. The, only one made, the only one who's made claims here is you. Can I ask you some questions? No, no please. Not yet. Not yet. You lost the point anyway. Come right. on, read. No, all, all I'm going to do, point. all I'm going to do is ask you who this is. But you didn't read it. You didn't finish it. No. Yeah. There is, it's talking about Yahweh. There is talking about the... Uh, yeah. But not talking about Mohammed, not talking about anybody, just the Yahweh. Listen. It's talking about God. Listen. That's all. Have I made any claims? No. But I know what's, what you're going to read, yeah? Because I read it before, so I know. Alright, right. So yeah. all I'm going to ask okay. is who this is and why you claim it is, who you claim it is, yeah? Okay. Fair enough? What? No, 53. See, I'll make it easy for you. The Jews who read Isaiah 53 don't believe it's Jesus. No, they don't. No, they don't. So they, so listen, 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 listen. So listen, the Jews, you're not allowing me to speak. That's the problem. You're interrupting me now. I just read your verses for you. Here's the thing you've got to understand. Isaiah 53, through a Christian lens, is Jesus. Yes? Through a Jewish lens, it's not Jesus. Why do you take precedence over the Jewish lens? They didn't believe him. They but didn't you accept him. They didn't you accept him as a man. Right. So you want it to be him. They don't want it to be him. Can I show what gives you, you the authority? Right. I'm going to show you why it's not Jesus. How's that? No, no, no. I'm going to show you, no, no, show you false prophecy. How's that? No, no, no. That's not right. Yeah, would you like me to do that? No. No. Well, then, then, that would be your idea, yes. But as a Christian, I believe what is there. And I believe that I know portrays, you believe Jesus what is there. Perfectly. I know. Because listen, in the New listen. Testament, did Jesus, exactly did Jesus keep his mouth said. shut? Exactly. Did Jesus keep his mouth shut? Jesus? He said he'll go, yes. he'll, he kept his mouth shut. Yes. So he never cried out. Well, oh, listen, listen, oh. listen. Don't listen. Don't when he was judged, yeah? yeah that's what he's talking about, yeah? Did Jesus cry out? Yeah, he's talking about... Was he silent? He did not defend himself. Was Jesus no, despised by men? No, he's talking about men. not defending himself. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, no, he's talking about... But he did not defend himself. You know, when you go before the judge, you try to defend... Let, let me... You try to defend yourself, yeah? He did not defend himself, okay? So show me where he defended himself. To say, well, well, you know, just show me. What? 
No, no, what I'm asking is very simple. No, no, oh, what, 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 where are you going now? I want to show you the Jewish that I didn't believe this is Jesus answering them himself. Oh, no, no, so no, 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 no. You can't do that. Why not? You can't do that. Why not? Okay, I'll tell you why you can't. Yeah. Alright, because we just read uh, verse 15. But I don't read it, I'm reading it. No, no, no. What I'm showing you. You just jumped, you just jumped. No, you have to. support the 53. No, no, no. He said that the Jews didn't listen. believe Jesus. Okay, but Jesus if you want to use, them, if you listen to me, here's what you've got to understand. A basic principle here. If you want to use the Gospel of John to support Isaiah 53, yeah. You need to qualify the Gospel of John, it's reliable. No, 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 no. it's Jesus Oh, talking. it's not reliable. It's Jesus no. Talking. Do you believe it is? <laughs> Why do you believe it's reliable? You know what? That's very important. He was the closest, was he was the closest to, to Jesus. Jesus. Do you believe, closest. Why do you believe it's reliable? The only one that died of natural death, yeah. Why do you believe it's reliable? He was not a martyr. So why he, do you believe he wrote the Apocalypse. Why do you believe it's reliable? Oh, well, you, I, you, you don't believe it. You, 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 no, why do you believe it's reliable? You're the one who believes it's reliable. It is reliable. Why do you believe that? Because I know. What do you mean, how do you know? Well, I'm going to tell Asking you. Why I'm not going to let you mock me. You know, why do you believe in the Quran? What does, it? Okay. what does me, believing in the Quran, have to do with him claiming the Gospel of John's reliable? Do you think the Quran is the word of God? <laughs> what does the Quran have to, him, have to do with my question to him? Why no, he no, believes no, no. the Gospel well, of John I mean, is reliable? Ask, ask why yeah, well, we believe in the Quran. I want to know why you believe the Gospel of John is reliable. Of course we believe because God... I know you believe it. Stop telling me you believe it. Because I want I to know why. And I, believe the, you know, I know you believe the it. That they did. I know you believe it. Okay. Why? Why? Because in the name of Jesus, I, ca I cast out demons. In the name of Jesus, I heal yeah, people. And what, what, what that's why. And that's day? for me, yeah? What would he say okay. to you on that that's day? That's why I, I believe. Okay? Now why? Why do you... I don't know. Oh, okay. First thing. Why you don't believe? Okay. Why you don't believe now? Why? Now you tell me why you don't believe. Why should I? Why well, I, I proved to you. I told you. you, you know what? I told you why listen, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Proved nothing. I, I, well, I, I proved it because he proved it to myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's, I proved it let's, to myself. Let's break it down. Don't ask me now. Let's break it down. Let's yeah, break yeah. it down. Let's break it down. Do you believe the author of the Gospel of John was an eyewitness? Oh yes, John was eyewitness. Clearly. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Now, by perfect, what do you mean? Because he, he lived with Jesus. Jesus in this time, and he actually walked with Jesus. Yeah. Right, so, so you're telling me that the author of John was an eyewitness to everything he wrote. Is that what you're claiming? Well, it, it, it depends on the revelation he was revealed. No, is that what you're claiming? Yeah. You're claiming he was an eyewitness. And what is your reason to base it on? John. And John and not oh, where, where, John. Where, where do I find out about where, this John? There is Matthew, there is Luke, there is Mark. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So the, three, the plot thickens. Four of them actually. Do you believe about... Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were all eyewitnesses? They were, the yeah. Well, not Mark and uh, Luke. Brother, brother, but, uh, Matthew, say, brother, Matthew and John, yes. Brother, let me just explain to you. Muslims will not be happy until they find, even if they find gospel after gospel after gospel after gospel after gospel that says Jesus dies, they'll say no until they find one that says it doesn't. Ah, there's the one. Okay. First well, thing, why should I believe okay. the Quran first is true? First thing, first thing. Actually, why should actually, I believe okay. the Quran, the Quran okay. says first, that Jesus died as well? First thing, so, first thing. First the Quran says that Jesus died as well. So. His red herring throw it away. Yeah? Because he said these Muslims. I've never said what you said. Huh? I've never said what you said. What, what you just claimed. I never made that statement what you just made. What, that, that Muslims won't be happy until this, that, the other. Did I make that claim? Right, so please don't bring it in as if I did. I don't associate me with Muslims. So if I show you a gospel, if claim. I show you all the gospels that show, all the gospels, I could show you loads of gospels that say Jesus died. Right, and I would ask the you the gospel of Thomas, the gospel of Mary, the gospel of Matthew, the gospel of Mark. What would I say? What would my answer be? Oh, they're all corrupted. No, what would my answer be? I don't know. Why should I believe what it says? That would be my answer. Just as I'm asking you. I told you why. Why but I even believe. Even if you're so even if you're Listen. I told you why no, I no, believe. No, no. You've got to give me reason to believe. Give me your reason to believe. A reason to believe? Yes. Why do you need reason to believe? Because if you believe in something, it means you can't prove what you're believing. Right? So you need to give me reason to believe that thing. What's the reason? He doesn't believe. He read it himself. Okay. So give me a verse in Isaiah 53. There's 42 authors of the Bible. 
You need to show me and qualify every book of the Bible. You can't just give me a chapter no, no, and say this no, is Jesus, no, listen, so it means listen, everything else is correct. Listen, That's so, so you need the entire library, yes? So if you bring it over here to prove to you. For example, that, yes. like he said, the Gospel of John. Do you know why you should believe it? I'll tell you why you should believe it. Give me good news. Because your Quran says it. Where does my Quran mention anything? I've told you this. Where? In Surah 3, verse 55, yes, that's what. it tells you, Allah said to Jesus, actually, translation properly, it says, I will call you to die and raise you to myself. Now, if you say that it says, no, it says, I will take you and raise you to myself, then clearly there's two different actions. Because if I said to you, what does, stop, 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 stop. What does my Quran have to do with you and your Bible? Because if you really believe the Quran, then you believe what it says to you about Jesus. What? what? You what does my Quran say about Jesus? It tells you that Jesus died and then... No, what does it say? No, it doesn't say that. What does the Quran say? What verse? One second, one second. What does the Quran say? What does the Quran say? In the context it does. No, what does the Quran say? It tells you, well I'm trying to tell you, in the actual translation, in the proper translations, actually in many translations, some say, I, uh, Allah said to Jesus, I will terminate your period of stay and raise you to myself. Some say, I will cause you to die and raise you to myself. Others say, I will take you and raise you to myself. Now the question is, if it just take you, just means I will take you to me, right? Are you then, sure you want to go down the show? Hold on. Hold on, if it, if it means that, if it means that, then there's no really need. What's the Arabic word used? What does that mean? It means to cause death. No. Does it? Yeah. No. What does it mean? Then? When Allah speaks about us when we sleep, and then we arise, yeah? when we're sleeping, the term used is mutawafiqa. Right. So then why so doesn't it say... Sleeping, why you're doesn't, so dead. then why doesn't it... If someone looks at you, you wouldn't know if you're so dead then why does it, this is Okay. So then why doesn't the word why doesn't the word translate as sleep? I will cause you to sleep and then raise you to myself. Oh so now it means something else. What does it mean? It means to cause death. Where'd you get that? And how come in every single in every single situation? No, I'm afraid but Chris, 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 you don't come here in every making a wild accusation. No, I don't. You're right. So in every play. situation when it talks play. about when it talks about God involving the prophets, it says, in every situation, it says, Support your claim. Doesn't Muhammad say to uh, Motu Afiq, I, uh, I, uh, I want that uh, Muslim listen, listen. to, cause me, to uh, cause me to die a Muslim. Every single situation. Can you support your claim or not? I haven't got anything on me. Have you got a phone? I ain't got it on me. Right, so. Okay. Hold on. No, no. So, hold on. Can you support your claim? Hold on. Wait, I'd have to have your phone. Okay. First thing. What does this have to do with the New Testament being reliable? Because, because you're saying that, 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 that it, it doesn't matter that all these Gospels say Jesus died if there's no proof. I didn't say that. You did. No, you said, I said to you categorically. You said you, said no, you need to. No, I'll tell you what I said categorically. I don't care what the Gospel says. You said you need to provide proof, didn't no, you? No, I didn't. What, what did I say to you? You said, can you prove it to me? No, that was with regards to what to what. Okay. I'm referring to my initial question. Why is the New Testament, why do you believe it's reliable? Yeah? Okay. I don't care what it says. I'm not challenging what it says. Okay. I want to know why I should believe it. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not interested in what it says. Okay. It could say Jesus stood up and says, I am part of the Father and the Holy Spirit is part. And we're all three in one. It could say that. My question again would be... But that relates to, that relates, that relates to the death of Jesus. No. Because no. you don't... But you, 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 no, don't, no, no. you don't believe in it because, purely because yes, it says that Jesus died and you don't no, believe listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. So I'll that's why you don't again, believe it. I said again, no, that's not why I don't believe it. I want a reason to believe it. Why should I believe it? Why should you believe it? Yes. You don't believe it. I'm not telling you you have to believe it. Well, that's a whole question. You interrupted say, my conversation. I would say to you, I would say to you that you have to ask God. I have to ask God why the New Testament is reliable. Well, if you want to go really down that road, there's, there's evidence of, of the history of it. What evidence of the history of it proves it's reliable? What do you mean, what evidence? What evidence within the Gospels prove it's reliable? Uh, well, there's witnesses from the, from the Roman Empire. Witnesses there's witnesses from the which from witness, historians. Which witness from the Roman Empire are you referring to? And what did he say? Do you know what? You can't say that. Can you say a witness from the Roman Empire said this, that, the other? But you're not going to tell me who that was. Well, I used to be So this is like, yeah, but that means right there. Listen, listen. Imagine you're in a court of law and, and a witness says this. Where's the witness? Bring the witness. Oh, we don't know who he is. But when historians say it as well, which historians? Are you saying his. 
Historians from back Which time. historian said the New Testament is a reliable source of information? Which on, historian? The story examiner. Which historian? No, what's the question? Why is the New Testament a reliable source of information? That's the question. What can historians tell me that proves to me or gives me good reason to believe the New Testament is a reliable source of information? There's no point in checking the results in there. All I know, is, all I know is that there's, 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 there's historians. No, and it's not in your story. It's not in your story. Okay, I don't want the name of the historian. What does the historian say that supports the belief that the New Testament is a reliable source of information? Okay, hold on. There's actually, there's actually manuscripts that were found where of, 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 of the record of, 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 of what the disciples did and what they and what they did. I'm sorry. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bring anything with me. No, no, no. So manuscripts have been found. Right? We got this on camera, right? Because Chris is making a claim. Here. Archaeological evidence. Yeah, we Google. Okay. So you're making a claim now that there's some manuscripts been found, and they do what? Archaeological evidence has been found. Archaeological evidence has been found. Yeah. Well, it really should be showing you why the New Testament is a reliable source of information, because that's why you're bringing this as evidence. Oh, is that what it's doing? Well, can we just move this way a little bit? Because, um, yeah, yeah. Salah, Salah, it's ready for Salah. We are seeing. Salah. You want to go next to Hatun? Okay, well, but, but, it, but everything is, unless I come to the seat, I don't remember that. You don't have to prepare nothing, right? You're a Christian, right? You put your salvation on the New Testament, right? I want to know why. No, actually, I don't put my salvation on the New Testament. Yeah, but the problem is we're surrounded by nothing. Jesus Christ! It's alright, it's just going to be a little bit of a question. Nut jobs that direction, nut jobs that direction, one that way, and one that way, and one that way. Alright, come on. Next to it. No, 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 it's too loud here. What you see is a white background. Stop hanging around the McDonald's. I'm just trying to see it. Do we need to follow Chris? Five minutes more. Oh, Joe, so you give me decent answers, right? No, no, no. Right. So I'm going to repeat my question. Why you believe the New Testament is a reliable source of information? You've now spoken some archaeological finds that somehow supports your belief that the New Testament is a reliable source of information. You now, you yourself said you don't believe the Gospels. I didn't say that. You believe the Gospels. You believe they're the Word of God. I believe they contain the words of God. Right. Do you believe the authors were inspired by God? Why? See, this is where, like, this is very difficult. Unless you actually experience something, then you can't really, like, I can't really explain it. You can't tell me why you believe the Holy Spirit. You can't tell me why you believe the New Testament. You can't tell me why you God. All right, let me make it easy for you. Did the New Testament authors claim an inspiration from God? None of them declare their names, forget they were inspired by God. None of them claim to be eyewitnesses. So you're claiming they were eyewitnesses, yeah? Inspired by God, and yet they don't claim to be eyewitnesses, nor do they claim to be inspired by God. So why do you believe they are? What do you know that they didn't? Well, they didn't make the claim. Surely, if they were being inspired by God, they would have said we're being inspired by God and these are the outwards, but they're God's words, surely. Well, that's why you have to be very careful when you're saying Alright, so they didn't make the claim. So they didn't make the claim. For example, John Revelation said, I was in the spirit and blah 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 blah. I saw the blah 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 blah. But if I told you something that I've had, you still wouldn't believe me unless okay. I showed you. You talk about Revelations, which is John having a dream. Yeah? No, I don't know. Which is not really I would have no, testimony. 
Actually, in the spirit, it's dream. No, 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 See, this is the thing, as, I'm, not, I'm like most Christians, I know I, I, I could, if I wanted to really, if I was really came prepared, I could, I could put on every bit of evidence on you, right? Because I used to come here, before I, when I met you, I used to come here most weeks and, 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 and give historical evidence, archaeological evidence, and been like geographical evidence, for everything, I could, Okay, I can right? give you. But obviously, I, I, don't, I don't. Hold on. As I've grown, I don't tend to remember these things. Right? So I've calmed down and I've realised. Yes, yes. If you want to use geographical evidence, I can use it against you. I can show you how the author of the gospel didn't know geography. Yeah, made mistakes with his geography. I can show you historical lies within the gospels, such as uh, the zombies. You mean what you mean when it says about people raising the dead? Yes. Yeah, but see, again, you're on about you're thinking you're thinking on a very human level. What level am I thinking? Oh, sorry. So whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So when Matthew says that the crucifixion and the earth went dark and there was an earthquake and the and the temple curtain split and the dead rose from the graves and entered into the town, you're saying that happened or not happened? I'm not saying. Nah, that did it happen? I'm saying. Did it happen? I believe it did. Yet no one else reported it. But the back of the drive is really cool. It doesn't literally mean people come out of their grave. What does it literally mean then? When saints come out of their graves and enter into the towns, what does that mean? Other than they got out of their graves and entered into the towns. What does it mean? I have a question. If you just read something from the Quran and I read something like that, would you tell me that it's okay to read them? If I read something, you, tell me how you read it. No, no. If, I'm, if I read a verse from the Quran in the way that you've just understood that verse, I'm going to jump. And then I'll smash an allergy to bits. I, 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 but I can tell you, it doesn't mean what you think it means. For for example, it says, hold on, for example, but an example, it does, 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 because it says an Adam all died, does that all of a sudden mean that But it, it says an Adam all died, does that mean that no human being was alive? It says an Adam all died, does that mean that you know human beings were roaming the earth? What are you talking about? What's the good point? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's the good point? You said, the gospel says. What's the good point? I'm going to repeat what you just said. The gospel says that in Adam all died. Christ, so you're saying alive. things can easily get taken out of context. Okay, but let's read the context. And you can tell me where that happened. Yeah. First of all, ask is was there an earthquake? Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you read it like that, then, then basically. I'll, 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 explain, I'll, explain, the problem. I'll explain the problem. That means that no human was roaming the earth after Adam. No, because you believe when Adam died, you're talking about in, in his sin, and that we're all going to die in sin, isn't it? We're dying. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So we know exactly what he's talking about. Yes. It's not talking so, about physical death, is it? But it doesn't say it doesn't say he died physically or spiritually. What we know is all about spiritual. So then, so then, so then, why don't you read that like that? Or all of a sudden, it means something different when you want. It. Like I said, if I really want to get into this, I can. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Your man here is just making sense. I think you're making nonsense. To be honest with you. Well, I'm I'm not the only one that seems to understand what I'm saying. Only you clearly just seems to understand. What I'm saying. I understand. What I'm saying. Okay. So what I'll do? I'll read this verse, and then we'll read the verse you're referring to, and we'll see what context of it. Yeah? We'll read the context of this verse. Yeah. Okay. This is in the Gospel of Matthew. Yeah. This is and for the benefit of the camera. Matthew 27. Have you, you know when you said about the zombies as well, you said they're walking zombies. Well, like, if you want to play like that, that game, then clearly we've been walking zombies on the earth for millions of years. Uh, for, for, for the, the minute Adam Matthew, Matthew 27, 49. Right. Oh, oh, but the rest said, let be.
here to see whether Elijah cometh to save him. Yeah? And Jesus cried again with a loud voice.